welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us for the Meet the Actor segment. Today, we're going to talk to the actors of Disgrace. Disgrace will be playing at TAG from May 5th through the 28th. Hi, everybody. Thank Hi. you so much for coming. This is going to be great. I'm really excited about the play this year. Um, tell me what you think about the play. What are your personal impressions of the play? And also, why do you feel it is important? All right, well, I'm Max Holtz, and I'm playing the character of Isaac. Um, the play, to me, is about challenging ideas, um, because there's sort of a, a main sort of focal argument in the show, and then you have two characters that are on either side of it. And what's interesting about the play is that both sides are sympathetic. And even though uh, you're kind of, you might lean towards one or the other in the beginning, um, you find yourself, like, the characters will say things that, in another context, you would definitely disagree with, but in the show, it kind of gives you pause for thought, and you are like, hmm, well, actually, maybe they're onto something. Um, and for me, like, you know, my character's Jewish, I'm Jewish, um, and my character says a lot of things that uh, I've probably thought in the past, and so seeing his ideas get challenged in the show, for me personally, when I read the script, my ideas were challenged. Um, mm. And, uh, and also having discussed the play uh, with the actors afterwards, I mean, it's, uh, it's a lot to take in. My name is Victoria, I'm playing the character Jory. Um, and uh, from my perspective, the play is largely about identity and how different identities interact with each other and how they fit together. Um, and for me personally, as a person of mixed ethnicity, this is something that's come up a lot. And um, I grew up on the mainland rather than Hawaii, and here mixed ethnicity is um, sort of par for the course. On the mainland, it's not as common, um, and in particular in the more conservative south where I grew up. Um, and so identity has sort of always been on my mind, and um, I come from a large family too. <laughs> I have eight siblings, so um, <laughs> that included is... Um, uh, a part of the reason that identity is um, very important to me and establishing an identity and figuring out sort of where you fit in the grand scheme of things. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm Courtney Costin. I'll be playing the role of Emily. Um, when I first read the script, I was just so intrigued. I thought the writing was done so well and very beautifully. Um, I love that there's so much witty banter, but um, sort of, as Max said, throughout the play, who you like sort of changes. You know, who you sympathize with in one scene and two lines later, you're almost appalled. So I find it really very interesting. But the thing for me, I think that, and we talked about this um, last week, that, that really stood out the most was that, you know, just the way that you were brought up, what's sort of ingrained in you as a you know, a young person, even though as you grow older, you sort of have these ideas and maybe even want to make those changes and not necessarily be that or be, you know, be associated with certain things, how hard it is to to eliminate that. It's yes. so ingrained in you that it's really difficult to, even if you want to, to, to fully step aside. So mm -hmm. that for me is a big, a big thing that I got out of the script. Thank you. Uh, I'm Noah Famuina. I'll be playing Abe Jensen, a.k.a. Hussein Malik. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, for me, when I when I first read the script and when I first got casted, I, I, I read through my character, and since that's the perspective I take, um, that's the perspective I've been looking at this show through. And the one thing that really stood out to me is the uh, prominence of uh, the ideals of culture and conflicting cultures uh, within this show, because you know, as it was said before, there there are multiple different perspectives, and those perspe those perspectives clashing have a big part to do, uh, or they're, they're really, the reason they clash so much is because of the different cultures of the different perspectives. And, you know, me being 16, I really don't know anything about, about the world. I really don't. And <laughs> changes, I, I really don't. And, you know, reading through this and getting, and getting to work with them, it's really interesting to see how we can all bring our own experiences and our own cultures and our own perspectives and play it through these characters. So this is a very uh, big kind of 
cultural awakening, I guess I could say for myself. And I hope we could do the same thing for the people in the audience. I hope we can convey the idea of all these different perspectives, and I hope we can start a discussion about that. Great. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Choi M. Postel, and I'll be playing Amir Kapoor, uh, original last name Abdullah. And uh, what does this play mean to me? What does it mean to me? So I wrote the play um, actually when it was published in American Theater Magazine, I believe, like years ago. I think it was 2013. And I was like just torn apart by it. It was so powerful. I was, I have to direct this. I have to put this up. Who's doing this? Who's writing about this? This is amazing. I need to put this up. And then I looked around to, at the acting community. I'm like, I know like one... Muslim actor, and I'm like, oh, is, he, is he, could he do it? I don't know, I'm not sure about it. So it kind of fell to the wayside, and then, you know, by a happy chance that Ron would direct, and I was like, oh, I get to act in it now. It's, it's just so relevant and powerful and profound with the cultural uh, conflicts and, and the different perspectives and viewpoints. I mean, because every, all the characters are, they got shades of gray. So nobody's totally wrong, nobody's totally right, they're all flawed human beings, and that's life. And you got to deal with that. An interesting thing, I, I don't know, I mean like being here in Hawaii and growing up here and everything, where there might not be a large Muslim community, I think it's important for TAG and for the islands, uh, for the islands so that islanders that might not be familiar with, you know, Muslims and what's going on, get a taste, get a little bit of education and enlightenment, see what they're going through. That's important.